Welcome to episode four of our hitch series. We're gonna be covering today the face dodge and rollback. Like we've talked about, everything is starting out of our hitch. We've already covered the face dodge, so that's gonna give us a really good base for adding in this rollback. When we get our hands back and we sell the shot, and then we face dodge through, the key with the face dodge and rollback is that we're not changing hands like a traditional split and roll. I want you to keep your stick across your body, but in the same hand. And with that, I want you to take a couple steps in the direction of going underneath or down the alley, just like a face dodge or just like a hitch and split. When you're making this move, like we talked about with our others, this is all about reaction. We wanna drill these moves out so that you're comfortable doing it and you're comfortable with the footwork, but I want you to know what you're gonna be looking for in the game. The way that this move is gonna work and the way that I've seen it work and other guys doing this move is that you're getting your hands back and when you face dodge and when you carry for those extra two or three steps, that's when you're looking for your defender to overcommit. One of the biggest differences with the face dodge rollback and the hitch and split is that this is a great opportunity to get back to your strong hand. This is where I would advise you to work on this move is to get your strength. Just like the hitch and go allows you to get to the middle of the field, the face dodge rollback just sells the alley or the underneath. And then when you're ready and you plant, that's when you can get back and pivot, open up and get to the middle of the field or get to your strong hand. In our online platform, we've talked a lot about rollback footwork, and that rollback footwork is gonna directly apply to the face dodge rollback. What I want you to think about is after you take your three steps in your crow hop, now it's gonna be three more steps to make that move to make an effective face dodge rollback. You're gonna bring your back foot through, just like a face dodge, as you bring your stick across. That's one. Your second step, is another step that sells that you're committing to going down the alley. And then your third step is the plant and the pivot step. The one in our rollback that we wanna plant off of, drop our hips and explode back and open up back to the middle of the field. So as I take that third step, I gotta drop and sink into it, open up and roll out of it back to the middle. There's always going to be times where if you wanted to carry for longer, in the face dodge and then roll back, that's certainly fine. But the three steps is the quickest way that you're gonna be able to do this roll back out of the face dodge. Thanks for tuning in to episode four of our hitch series. We covered the face dodge roll back. Stay tuned for episode five as we cover our last move, the hitch and roll.